Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants, coming to you from Central Florida. Hello plant friends, thanks for joining me today. I'm Peggy and I am headed to Lowe's Garden Center. In fact, I'm headed to two Lowe's Garden Centers because I've gotten word that some new shipments are in. Nature's Way has some very interesting plants that have, they've been putting out in a new collection. So I wanna get some footage of those and share them with you, as well as some of the newer Costa Farms plants I'm told are in. And you know, I've been looking for that Trubii Moonlight. I'm told that there's a possibility I may be finding one of those today. So I'm very excited. I hopped in the car ready to go and I said, well, let me take my friends with me because I haven't seen you all very much lately. So I hope you enjoy the trip. Let's see what we see. Hopefully we'll find some really good stuff. So let's get going. Okay, here we are at the first Lowe's that we're gonna visit today in Brandon, Florida. Let's see what we can find. And the first thing I notice are these nice looking Monstera Deliciosas. I'm not recall seeing these, but for $37, I would have to pass on these. You can find Monsteras this size right here in Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart for half the price of that. So moving on over here, this arrangement, I'm not, not really liking this with the Fiddly Fig, Croton and Dracaena. And again, for $36, I mean, if you're in the market for all three of those, it might be a good deal if you split them up, but I'd have to pass. And I have to take a look at the bromeliads, keep moving. I'm trying to find some things that we don't usually see. And these look like moonlight um, philodendrons, but I see over here they have a different name on them, so interesting. Now, here's the Urban Jungle um, display. And I noticed that they are getting some different plants in. And here, $20 is Fiddly Fig in the little pot. And look down here at this begonia. And I see that this is a Trending's Tropicals display. And it's been here for a while, long enough for the begonia to grow cross country. <laughs> Anyway, look at these tetraspermas. Now, this is what I'm very impressed with. This is a collection from Nature's Way, and they have the Raphidophora tetrasperma. Look at this ficus here. I don't remember what these are called, but I have seen them online, and they are in ceramic pots, and I think they're going to give Costa Farms a run for the money. And look at this variegated ivy. I hear that it's not actually an ivy, but I don't know anything about it. But these are all the same price at $17.98. So a little less than Costa Farms and a nice selection. So keep an eye out for that. This nice looking Calathea. If you are um, somewhere that um, has Nature's Way plants, don't just look for the cost of farms. Look for Nature's Way too. And the Sansevieria looking nice, the moonshine. And look at this zebra plant. This is not something we always see here in store either. And it's only $11. That's a nice find, I think, as well. Let's see what else we can find. Take a peek around. And again, I got a call that they had some unusual items in Nature's Way. I'm very impressed with that. I've seen um, some of their collection a time before and never really paid much attention to it, but they are getting in some different plants. So corn plants and all that, these are things that are normally found in the lows in this area. So that's the price on that, $15. Here's some Costa Farms and just the regular ones, the fi ficus triangularis, and the raven, and $20. So here's some Dracaenas. Yeah, these are all normal finds. So none of the new Trending Tropicals plants in store here. So here we are at Lowe's number two in Riverview, Florida. Let's see what they have. I had to stop at these Caladiums. As you know, if you've seen my recent shopping trips, I'm really liking the Caladiums. I wanna put some in my landscape. And um, so they have a fresh new order of Caladiums in. 
very pretty now this is something different I've never seen them in a multi-pack before so for $20 yeah look at this a nice full multi-pack I might have to pick that up myself I think that's a pretty good deal but let's keep moving look at all of these Costa Farms plants these are the regular ones that we're used to seeing and more there's like several Costa Farms displays here lots of begonias for begonias love begonia lovers right now Costa Farms is really putting out the begonias um, some aglionema raven I mean some ZZ plants yeah nothing out of the ordinary so far hmm and let's look over here more begonias Ficus triangularis. Now I heard they have some goodies here, something that I'm looking for. So I'm hoping I'm not too late. And some moonshine. Oh, look what we have here. Here's my true VI. <laughs> I am so happy to find this plant. I have been looking for this for so long. So I'm gonna pick up a second one of these for sure so that I can make a bigger pot and of course they have the Birkins. Let's see if they have anything else that they don't normally carry. Really happy about this plant. And these Birkins look really nice. I have a starter plug Birkin that's, you know, it's still small, but I'll stick with it. And the, um, here's more of the Nature's Way collection. They have the um, Alocasia Poly fiddly fig, some ferns, again the ivy, Sansevieria moonlight, or is it moon glow? I, moonshine, that's what it is, Sansevieria moonshine, known as Dracaena now, some Diphrombachia. Yeah, I'm really liking this ivy, but I know nothing about ivy except I heard that it's a spider mite magnet, so I think I'm not going to get that one, but very nice looking plant. So let's see the ravens yeah I think other than that they're just the normal cast of characters I'm very happy to find that trubii though let's see if there's anything else these diphrombachias look really nice oh, look at this tenanthe we don't always have those but we do get them in kind of regularly in this area and let's see how much this Diphrombachia is. $15, that's pretty good for the size on that. And let's just see, fiddly fig. And I don't know, that might be all that we're gonna see. This bromeliad is absolutely beautiful and it comes in the little pot, the little wooden pot. $25, I'd have to pass on that because these bromeliads are usually um, like $15. So. That's about it. Quick trip to Lowe's. Let's see what I got. I was really tempted to buy this Nature's Way Ivy, but I decided to pass on it since I know nothing about growing ivy. I don't want to take this plant home and kill it. But of course, I've been looking for this beautiful plant for a long time. And for $20, I feel like you just can't beat it. I paid more than $20 for the small cutting that I got and had to root. So I'm very happy to add this to the other one that I have rooted and am growing. And I'm gonna make a nice full pot. Now these aren't as big and full as the ones that you get when you order directly from the Costa Farms website, at least that I'm seeing that people are getting. But there's a good amount of plants in the pot. So here's a good look at it. And I just made sure that it had as much plant in the pot as I could get. So I got the one that was the fullest. And I'm just gonna do a little tug. Even when I buy them from the stores, I like to check them out good. And as you can see, look at this. This plant is soaking wet, so I'm going to have to let that dry out. I'm not going to leave it in this pot and I'm gonna you know, encourage it to dry out and I'm gonna give it a good look over for any pest or anything like that. I don't see any problems. But it looks like it has a lot of new growth starting 
and that's something else I look for when I'm buying a new plant. See if there are shoots that are newly growing and leaves that are unfurling. That's always the plant I'm going to pick, in addition to it being the, one of the fullest pots I can get. Now, I also like to check the pot to make sure that the plant's actually rooted, because sometimes you can purchase a plant and then you find out you think it's rooted, but it's really not. So I'll go around and tug on the leaves just a little bit, just to see if it comes, the plant comes out of the pot. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just giving a little bit of a tug and oh, here we go. This one is unrooted. So I'll just stick that in um, probably some moss and root it. I may leave it in this pot, but sometimes, you know, you'll get one or two leaves like this. But sometimes you find out your whole plant is actually just a bunch of cuttings. And it's good to know that so that you don't treat it like a plant that's fully rooted. And the next thing you know, you have a dead plant on your hands. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. Take care. Stay tuned. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.